All right, hello, welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Colors. This is part three of coloring book collection slash finished coloring pages. I'm gonna try to do this quickly, um, but first let me say this is in no way intended for or aimed at children. This is an adult coloring channel. Okay, so we were doing um, Johanna Basford. This is my last Johanna Basford book. This is World of Flowers. And I know a lot of you probably know this one. This has got beautiful pink foiling on it. Um, and I have, let's see, I have this finished page and I talked about this one previously so I won't do too much talking about it. But um, my daughter did scribble on the inside of this and I couldn't get it to erase because you know, pencil's not the easiest thing to erase. But um, I think, I think this was done with Prismacolor and the background is also pencil that I blended out with the, um, the odor, odorless mineral spirits. Um, but I love this book. Oh, look at my, not my tea. Um, I just doodled this with gel pen literally like yesterday. Um, but this has got a big fold out flap of some really pretty artwork, like a big poster type thing. Um, it's got the, the color palette page. Um, I won't go too much because I know a lot of you know all of Johanna Bassford's books, but I love this one. And this is the one I'm currently working on. Um, I wanted to finish this for Valentine's Day, but for whatever reason, I guess I was feeling bad or I've just been doing it extremely, extremely slowly. Like I said, I'm a slow colorist, but um, it was supposed to be for Valentine's Day, but you know, it's not gonna be finished in time, but Anyways, that is World of Flowers. Um, I guess we can do Kirby's books now. Let's see, we will start with Anamorphia. So this is Anamorphia by Kirby Rosanna's and a lot of you know this book as well, so I won't spend too much time on it, but I absolutely love this book. Um, and I haven't picked it, <laughs> I haven't picked it up in a long time. Um, just because I've been getting so many new books that I haven't gotten back to it, but I do want to come back to it. Um, as well as I've talked about this previously, so I won't go into too much detail. Um, this is all Prismacolor. This is basically the first time I got my 72 set of Prismacolor Premier Pencils. Um, so it's not the best blending job. It's not the best, you know, coloring job, period. You know, there's not a whole lot of contrast between colors and all that jazz, but um, it's, it is the first one that I did with my Prismacolor pencils. Um, and yeah, I did that in 2018, probably around uh, October-ish. So that is Anamorphia. Let's see, next we will do Imagimorphia, because I think that's the order that they came in that they came out in. I think that's the order. Um, this is Imagine Morphia by Kirby Rosanna's. A lot of you know this book as well, and I have a work in progress. Um, because I do this these tabs right here where if I have an orange one or a pink one, it's it's a work in progress. But if I have blue, green, purple, other colors like that, um, it's usually a, a a finished finished page. So, um. Let's see, I did this one. Uh, this is Prismacolor Premier Pencils and Soft Pastels in the background. So what I did was I took one of those little, um, I forget what they're called, one of those things from that you use in math that has the pencil and you draw circles with it. Um, I basically used that to draw like a circle right here to focus yellow and to go out from yellow to orange to red to make like a sunset type thing with soft pastels. Um, and then I used a Posca paint pen to go over the little splash bits to make it look like, you know, foaming water. I don't know, I like it. Um, I like the color combination. I pretty much love everything about it. Um, and this page got messed up, but I guess I'll just go over the background with a dark color and try to fix it because I do want to color that one. Um, and I love this book. I love the paper. I mean, I love the images. I love everything about it. Kirby is one of my favorite artists, illustrators. Um, I've gone over this one, so I won't do it in too much depth again. Um, but this is 
basically been a whip for a really long time. I want to come back to it and do Neo Color 2s for the background. Um, and then maybe just do like Neo Color 2 base for all the leaves and then go over it with pencil or something. Just so that I can get it over with quickly because I'm tired of seeing it as a whip and I just want it to be done. But um, love this book. I love all the doodly bits. Like some days I sit down and I'm like, mm, I would love to do some doodly bits. So like this would be a fun page to do when I'm in that mood. On to my most favorite Kirby Rosanna's book. This is Mythomorphia. A lot of you have this book. A lot of you know of it. You can frequently find it at Walmart. And I have quite a few done in here. Um, so I have this one started where I was trying to do that challenge that I've seen a couple people do where they circle a picture of the page and um, they only color what's circled. But the reason I blacked out the rest of it is because I did this one. And the back that I did this with, the marker, had kind of bled through in a few spots. Um, only because it was oversaturated. Um, not because this paper can't take it. Because this paper does very well with water mediums. Um, as long as you don't go too heavy. So it was a little heavy in some spots. Or, you know, as if sometimes you're using water markers. Um, and like spurts of a whole bunch will come out at once and I think that's what it did and it and it just caused some big black spots so I just painted over the rest of it with black and you can't tell but this is the other one that I did um, this is one of my favorites before it got ruined um, there's some like smudging right there but besides that the back is with Crayola super tips um, I actually used a whole entire a little super tip marker and a half for this so probably won't use that method again because it just took up way too much marker um and then prismacolor for all of those bits the bird and everything and then this down here i think is yeah it's slightly glossy so that might have been oh you know what that's the metallic prismacolor pencils what that is but um yeah Anyways, moving on. This book is also falling apart, as you can tell. Um, this book is also very brittle. Doesn't take well to pulling and, like, I don't know. It just, it falls apart on a lot of people. See the other one? Pretty much every page I've colored in here, yep, has come out. Um, so I did this one. This one is with entirely Crayola. This one is uh, just Crayola colored pencils. Um, the background and everything, which the background took forever, and it was super hard to get a blended look, and it killed my hand. Um, probably will never do that again, especially with Crayola, because they're extremely hard and not very pigmented, so you have to push and push and push and push and push and push to get pigment to come out. So, um, I love this, this image, though. Um, this is one of those images that I love so much that I would buy the copy of this book multiple times just to get to do this picture multiple times. Different mediums, different ways. I love this picture. But anyways, um, yeah, that's Mythomorphia by Kirby Rosanna's. And then my last Kirby book, I don't have... Okay, baby, just a minute. Um, I don't have... The thin ones, Phantomorphia and Geomorphia, but I do have Colormorphia. And if you don't know, which I'm sure you do, um, Colormorphia, and I apologize for the, the washing machine in the back. Uh, my brother has to wash clothes right now, so. Um, Colormorphia is a book of all of his other books jumbled into one. So, but I don't have Phantomorphia and Geomorphia, but I'm not entirely mad because some of those pictures are from those books are in here. So I still have the opportunity to color some of them. And I have done one picture in here actually. And I did this one. Um, so this one was uh, kind of like a buddy color with my grandmother. Um, because she also likes to color and she colors with me. She doesn't um, live close to me. So we kind of color and chat and things like that over FaceTime and video calls. Um, but this is one that we picked to do together. Um, and the background was done with acrylic paint. 
mixed with a little bit of water. Um, and I tried to get it blended, but I wish that I would have picked two more colors that were a little bit more similar so it would have blended better. Um, because I just don't think that those colors, it was really hard to get them to look like a smooth blend because the contrast, the colors were so different. Um, but I went over the jellyfish with, um, what you call it, gel pens, and the bubbles with gel pen. So that was my first double page spread also. And that is the only thing done in this book. So, um, I love that book. Anyways, um, okay, so Millie Murata, I do have two books by Millie Murata. Um, this one was a gift for my birthday from uh, my brother, and I have not done anything in this, but I plan to. Um, and this is Wildlife Wonders. So, also like Color Morphia, this is a book of hers that has a whole bunch of jumbled pages from her other books into one. That's why it is so thick. And you'll, I'll show you the difference in, in a minute from her normal and her normal books. This one is really, really great because, you know, it's not like really my style, but I see myself coloring some of these and I do think that it would be different to come to to color something, you know, in this style and as different as this is. Um, that I don't have, you know, all of her books, but I have a book of hers that has pictures from all of her other books. So, um, I think it works out nice. Uh, so that's Wildlife Wonders. So, I have Beautiful Birds and Treetop Treasures by Millie Murata. And the uh, reason why I got this is I normally wouldn't buy this. Just because I said her style is not my absolute favorite, but I... I do see myself still, you know, coloring in them, and I, 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 I like to have them. Um, it's just not my go-to. That's probably a better way of saying it. Um, but I did buy this one because I found it at Ollie's, and I think, yeah, I went ahead and tore the Ollie sticker off. But if you don't know Ollie's, it's a bargain outlet. And usually you can get things there super cheap. Like, I probably paid two bucks for this, two to three dollars for this book. Um... And it, the reason why books like this and stuff go to the outlet is because things like this are usually found wrong with it. That's your dinosaur. Yeah, All right. it away. Uh, no, I didn't throw it away. I thought I did. Take it in there. That's too loud. Please. I didn't want to do. No, it's too loud. Pick it up and take it in there, okay? Sorry, guys. Um, anyways. So it had a slit in it, um, so like almost like it went to the store, you know, and someone was trying to open the box with the box cutter and slice the book so they couldn't sell it. But anyways, three bucks for me, I'm okay with that because it's not affected any of the pages in the book. Let's see. No pages affected whatsoever. So this one is Beautiful Birds and Treetop Treasures, and I absolutely love this one because I actually do love birds. I love, 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 love birds. So, I do want to get into this one. That was a cute koala. So, that's all my Millie Murata books. On to a couple miscellaneous books. And then we got a couple others. I'm almost done. Um, so, this is a book I found from Ollie's as well. Yep, $1.49. I could not get it for $1.49. So this is Dream Escapes. This is a Crayola book. It's got 40 images in it. It's surreal animals and architecture. So this is a super, super quirky kind of weird book, but the paper's nice and the images are weird. Like here's a dude swimming in the water in a shoe. Not swimming, but like kayaking in a shoe. That's strange. Swinging from a bridge, strange. A giant squirrel. But like, this is the type of pictures that are in this book. But the general like way it's drawn and the thick black lines and everything is distinguished. And like, there's the cute girl in the swing and the squirrel. Like, I wouldn't mind coloring these. Like, I wouldn't mind coloring them at all. Plus they're single-sided, so you can use your markers. 
your alcohol markers without worrying about ruining them. So, I don't know. I just thought $1.49, you know, see whatever that weird creature thing is. They're cute. And I haven't done anything in it yet, but I will. Whenever I get to it. See, that's cute. Dragonflies, they're like planes. That's cute. I would color that. Anyways, um, so that's Dream Escapes by Crayola. Next, I have Kawaii, which is Autumn and Halloween Adult Coloring Book. This is by Just Two Kawaii. Um, and this is a super cute book. And I notice I'm moving a lot faster now than I did in my other books. But we're getting down to most of the books that I have not touched. Um, or that I've done like only one picture in. So um, we're just about done. I have just a, just a little small handful of books left. But um, I haven't done anything in this one either. And this is Create Space Paper. Um, but these images, I, I had to get this book because, I mean, just, uh, they're so cute. So, so, so cute. And these books are cheap. I think this book was like four bucks. Maybe three. Because a lot of the times I get, I catch books on sale when they're even cheaper than their cheap price. And like, sometimes I pay hardly nothing for these books. But these images are just, ugh. Like, I just love this book. Um, so, Kawaii Witches. And then let's do Darius Song. So, I have all three Darius Songs books. Um, this is The Time Garden. And I know a lot of you guys know about this. Um, I'm late to the game with this big coloring book thing. So, a lot of you know about these books. But this is Darius Song. And it's basically... If you don't know, a book with a cute little story in it about a little girl, something along the lines of a cuckoo clock. Um, and the images are very intricate. That's why I haven't touched it yet. They're very intimidating. I've seen lots of people do beautiful things with them. Um, so it makes me excited to be able to, you know, achieve greatness with those pictures, but they are very intimidating. So I have not touched any of my Darius song books but I do like them and I do have them and I will get to them one day this is the night voyage um I think this is one of the, the better ones to be honest just because of the images I feel like I don't know like that is a super super cute image I like I love that with the desserts and everything I feel like the images were just well done in this book um, I don't know for whatever reason better than the other ones, but, um, I really like the ones on this book. Let's see. There's a really cute one, but I don't know where about this one right here. This is one that I see everyone do, this double page spread right here. A lot of people do this for the holiday season, um, so I might have to do that one one year because it's a really cute picture um so that was a night voyage in the time garden and this one is the time chamber by darius song and i do think darius song has other books but i don't have them so um this one like i said i haven't done anything either but i actually really love this picture and a couple of them in here uh i like a lot better than others Let's see. I love that one. I've seen a lot of people do this one <clears throat> in like really bright, fun, beautiful colors. So I might have to try that. Um, but for, for more of the like extremely like detailed pictures, you know, sometimes that's just not for me. Um, okay. So on to the next one. And this is Fairy Tales by Emily Oberg. And a lot of people love this book. A lot of people have this book. But as of right now, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, don't get me wrong, the artwork is gorgeous. Um, I know a lot of people love her other book, Sagner Ox Sagner. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna get that book. I know it's hard to get one and it's super expensive, but another reason would be one, because I have this one. 
and they're the same style even though they're not the same pictures they're the same style from the same artist and I'm not gonna lie I love love these images like I really want to do that one like Ariel with the green and red and everything but um I started one in here and I'll show it to you in a minute and um I don't know that's the one I started and I used Prismacolor Premier Color pencils and for some reason, I don't know if it's the color combos. I don't know if it's the paper. I don't know. But for some reason, I'm not liking the way that it's coming out. First of all, I've, I have pressed and pressed and pressed and went over a hundred times. Maybe it's just because this paper is super toothy. Um, because I'm usually, when I blend, I'm usually very heavy-handed and I can usually burnish the paper and get all the little speckles out because, personally, I don't like that. I like for all the white to be gone. Um, but I guess this paper is just super toothy and the Prismacolors are too soft and I can't, it, I can't get rid of the white. So what I did here is I know you can tell that it's different. And the background, the background looks like solid color, right? So I took different color blues and I layered them and layered them and layered them on top of each other. And I didn't press hard. I was just doing a light layer. And then what I did is I took that blender that I have, like the mineral, the odorless mineral spirit blender stuff from Walmart. And I just went over it and it blended it all out smooth to a solid color. That worked out nice. And then I took a this gel pen and I started doing all these little dots to look like stars um and I don't know how I feel about it I don't know if I like it or if I don't um so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the birds and hopefully doing the birds and these berries or whatever hopefully that will bring it all together and make me like it just a little bit more so I don't know that's just a a difficult one for me um then we have a zen doodle coloring book that says zen doodle coloring presents um it's gnomes in the neighborhood this is by denise clett a lot of you know this book a lot of you have it these are very popular oh i didn't know it was saint martin's press saint martin's press is who publishes um i have it right here in front of me the romantic country series um anyways I have done one page in here, even though it's not stamps, you can see the blue. Um, because uh, for fun in the sun Feb has hashtag that we are doing this this month. Um, so I'll show that to you guys, but it's over there, pumpkin. This is the one that I did and I do, uh, I don't want to say I hate it, but I don't want to say I like it. So, I basically tried to do this super, super, super quickly um, because I know that I'm a super slow colorist and I wanted to do one for Fun in the Sun Feb, but I wanted it to get done because a normal picture takes me one month to do one picture and I did this one in like a week or a couple days um, and this I did with, what did I do with this, crayon, Crayola crayon. Again, like I did in the other one, if you watched part one in my hand lend book, and then I went over it with the blender and I blended all the wax out. So I think that looks all right, but then I took acrylic paint and I did splotches of acrylic paint that look like clouds. Don't know how I feel about that. The top of the water, I didn't want to be that dark, but that was an accident. So I didn't really have a choice and I had to just go through with it. Um, and then I just colored each and every one of these fish in different colors. I colored the, you know, Ariel looking mermaid. She was really cute. She was looking really good. And then I took an, a white acrylic wash and I started to go over it like this. Well, what I didn't know was going to happen was that it, the wax of the pencils was getting smudged really bad. Um, so like over here, you can see it kind of looks green from smudging the green. 
um, it's kind of green right here and right here by the belly I had to like splotch some white um, on top of it to cover up the red because the red was bleeding um so what I'm thinking is I should have sprayed it with the workable fixative first and then went over it with the acrylic wash because I wanted it to look like you know a lot of the people do their white acrylic washes to make it look underwatery like um but I tried it and it turned out like this so help me out here what am I doing wrong I don't know but um I love this book it's super fun um, I don't know if I'll get her other ones. She has the fairy one and the mermaid ones, just because I'm a huge fan of gnomes. And this is her, the favorite, you know, my favorite one. So that's the one that I got. Um, and then on to the mouse guard. And then after the mouse guard, we have two books left, and that is it. So, um, this is the mouse guard by David, David Peterson. And... I absolutely love this book. When I saw it, I had to have it. And look, it's got freaking morphing on it. I try to keep my books clean, but it just doesn't happen with a child. Um, <clears throat> so this is basically a comic strip type book because David Peterson has like a comic strip type uh, thing or story or whatever of the mouse guard. And he just turned it into a coloring book, I guess. So it doesn't have like the actual words, but um, I, lo I just love this book. I mean, even just for the the artwork, not even if, I mean, if I ever never colored in it, I would still love to just sit down and flip through and look at this because the artwork is so, so, so good and super cute. I mean, come on, the little mouse warrior Ugh, oh, he's so cute. And it's like a little village. Like, because there's like lots of them. And like they... Look. So cute. I love it. I haven't done anything in here and it makes me sad. But I'm going to try Neocolor 2s. And hopefully... Hopefully that works out. Because I really, 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 really love this book. Two books left. So I have The Romantic Country 1 and 2. And real quick, let me just say I am super, super upset because I do not have the third book. And to my knowledge, it is no longer in print and no longer available anywhere to my knowledge. Unless I were to get one like used or something, I guess. I don't know. Um... But it's no longer on Amazon, and I wanted that book so bad, and I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off when I should have just ordered it because now I can't have it. And I, that's, I love this collection of books. I love this artist. I just really wished, really wished I had the last one. But anyways, I've done one in this one, and I haven't touched the second one yet, but I... I'm probably going to start one in that book next because I was just flipping through it a minute ago thinking mm, I need to pick this book up and do something in it so um but this is a romantic country the first tale a lot of you guys know this book too and I okay so before you laugh I know she looked like she got liver problems but it is very difficult to come up with a skin color combo with the Arteza 72 set. It is so hard. But other than her skin and this weird god-awful looking sky that I did with Crayola crayons, um, and I tried to do like weird shapes for like weird looking clouds. Um, I don't like my attempt at the fur on the cats. Um, I like the grass. The grass is all right. I did a base of Neo Color 2 here and a base of Neo Color 2 here. Um, and then I did Prismacolor. Wait a minute. I think it's all. I think I did it all in Arteza. I don't think there's Prismacolor. No, I think it's Arteza. But there might be, like the apple might be in Prismacolor. Um, but I'm pretty sure everything else was generally done. And Arteza or it just might have been just like a mix. I did this one a hot minute ago, so I'm not 
like too too short. But um, there's neo color to Arteza and Christmas color. In there. And there's some gel pen. I don't know if you can see in the grass. I did like little marks of gel pen. Um, there's some white and everything. But that's the one that I did in here, and I do not like it. Her skin is awful. But my next attempt at skin with those Artezas will be much better. And on to my last book, finally, Romantic Country, the second two. This one is a super, super cute book too. I love it. Like I said, I wish I had the third one, but I don't. And uh, these books have a huge cutout poster that you can kind of like play with and stuff in the back um, that you can like cut pieces out and set it up. I don't know, like an interactive poster thing, but I don't know if I'll ever do that, honestly. Um, Alright, so thank you for sticking through this if you've watched all three parts. Um, feel free to give it a, a thumbs up if you liked watching this video, if you like watching these kinds of videos. Let me know in the comments and I'll try to come up with some more. Um, and maybe try to keep up with some finished page the only reason I don't keep up monthly with finished page colorings is because um, I'm an extremely slow colorist. But if there's anything you guys want to see flip through of any of these books, um, feel free to tell me in the comments. And I will definitely try to do that for you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.